Hello, people. Uh, just recently, I made a uh, my first uh, webcam video, so I'm going to also make my very first webcam game review. <coughs> so, um, the game I want to uh, review is Godfather. Um, I don't. I beat it uh, uh, recently. Well, not recently, but. I beat it uh, about a month ago. Well, about three, uh, three weeks ago. Um, so the storyline's beat, decent storyline. I mean, the storyline was good I, a little bit. You know, it really wasn't that, you know, good. In in some parts, it was somewhat boring. Um, the cars, there's not a lot of variety. You got a pickup. You got a um, like. A truck that like has like cargo and stuff that just ships the like, drugs and money and whatnot from one uh, warehouse to another or whatever hub or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, there's uh, some cars, some are faster than others. There's really no variety. Um, I think there's like grand total of, like four different types of vehicles. And one of them you actually have to stop by shooting it or, you know, hitting it with the cards. It's really, really hard to get that, um, that like, cargo sh truck and whatnot. Um, I, I do like that, you know, you do have, like, hit, you know, hit list. So, that, you know, after you beat it, you still have something to do. It's not like, oh my god, it's boring now. There's, like, nothing to do. Um. The one problem I have is that, you know, I, I always seem to get into a marble every time I play. It's like, what the hell, man? I see like 10 people and I'm in a marble. It's like, come on. Really? You serious? 10 people and I'm in a marble. And then I go and look for a freaking FBI agent and they can't seem to find them. It's like, come on, man. They're on the map. They should be right there on the map. But no. Like, they, they show you the FBI thing, and then when I go there, they're not there. It's like, what? What? Really? Come on. Why are you lying to me, man? Why are you lying to me, game? So, I don't like that I'm almost always on a marble every time I play. That just ruins the experience somewhat for me. Um, um, so, you know, I don't like that, you know, the, the, the storyline is it's very short. It's like, I, I think if you play it non-stop, you can probably get through the storyline in about five hours. Four or five hours. If you just, you know, go going home, you know what you're doing, and you don't die, you know, you could probably get through the storyline in about four or five hours. Um, so it's short, and it's not really that good. Um, I don't know what my, what else to say, except, um, it's a decent game, I mean, it's worth trying, it's worth at least looking at, you know, if anything, you know, go to a friend's house and at least give it a chance, I mean, it, graphic wise, it's good, it's on a PS2, so, I mean, you really can't, you know, expect too much from a PlayStation 2. Um, so graphic-wise, it's pretty good for the system. Story-wise, yeah, I hope the second one, uh, which I plan on getting, is better on the storyline. Uh, but otherwise, really no problems, really. Um, I enjoyed it. Really did. Uh, I would just like to have seen the storyline or the gameplay be a little longer and have more stuff to do. Because it almost always seems like I'm doing the same stuff over and over again. Um, so if I had to give it a score from like 1 to 10, I'd, I'd give it a 6. Yeah, a 6. Maybe 6.5. <laughs> Alright man, this is PS3 Fanboy signing out. See you later.